So you're wondering what kind of luxury real estate Raleigh, North Carolina has to offer? Well, stay tuned because in this video, we're gonna take you inside this $1.6 million North Raleigh home, tell you all about the area and give you the full tour and we're getting after it next. Okay, before we get started on the tour, we just wanna remind you that the only thing we like making more than these videos is helping you make that smooth move to Raleigh. So give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Our information's in the description below, and we'll help you make a smooth move to Raleigh. Now, Chris, this home is absolutely beautiful, and I can't wait to take a look. I think you're really gonna like this one. Come on in. So immediately when you come into your right, it's gonna be a half bath there. So really nice since you come in the front door, if you need to run to the bathroom, there you go. Yeah, great to have a, a yep. room for your guests that of course, you don't have to walk through a bedroom to get to. That's right. And when you come into this foyer, this foyer all automatically makes a statement because you have the picture frame wings coating and then obviously my favorite, yep. the ship lab. Nice and wide. And you and I discussed as we did our quick walk through earlier, the millwork is amazing. So everybody take notice. It's not just the ship lap, it's not just the Wayne's coat, it's, it's all of it and it's everywhere. Absolutely, and as we talked about before, the trim work and the mill work can really make or break a home. And again, you'll come into the first bedroom, kind of like an en suite, and so you'll have the ship lap, the painted here, and the Wayne's coating again, really gives it character. Yep, and you do have a full bath here. Full so bath here. This, you could utilize this as an in-law suite, yep. because it is on the main floor, or an office or study, and you could show the door, work, and you have your restroom right here. Yeah, you never have own, to leave. Your own restroom, don't have to leave. And, and again, one thing we'll point out too is this this whole uh, bottom floor, it has the oak hardwood floors. Yes, they're real hardwood. They're yes. not engineered. It's not LVP. Right. It's hardwood. It's hardwood. So when you come on in, you're going to come into the primary suite. So the primary is on the main suite, and you have the... Um, Again, large room here, hardwood floors. And it's kind of hard to find. Yes. Um, you typically don't find the primaries downstairs, but a lot of folks really want those and, and look for them. One reason is because of land costs, but um, in this particular situation, Chris, how big is this lot? This lot, it's, it's a, I'm not sure exactly how big the lot is. It's a, almost an acre. It's a large lot, yeah. I would assume. Yeah, it's definitely think, over a half. Yeah, um, and I'm not sure how far it goes back, and we'll yeah. show you the backyard. It's really wooded right. and nice. I think it goes back there a little bit, so you're looking at an acre or more. Yeah, these homes out here, the lot sizes are going to be larger and more on the private side. So when you come in in this little hallway area, it's going to take you into the uh, master bath, and this is a nice master bath toilet here, but behind me is the master bed, uh, closet. A lot of build-ins, little build-in bench seat, nice. Yeah, and these are not your wire shelves. These are millwork built-ins. Yes. Of course, a private toilet room and a frameless glass shower. Frameless glass shower. You shower. can't beat it. Freestanding tub. Yes. Love it. Love it. Really nice. Uh, coming on back into the master bath, into the, the master bedroom. Again, the level of millwork and the character in this room. Yeah, I tell you, what stands out to me is the volume in this room, yes. the really high ceilings and that great light fixture. It makes a statement. It does. Again, hardwood floors, a lot of windows, so a lot of light comes in. So we typically save the master or the primary yep. for last. Yep. But on this one, stay tuned to the end because there's a surprise in this house. <laughs> Absolutely. Actually, this house is full of surprises, it's but there's of... one that we really like. That's right. So come on back out and we'll we'll take you upstairs in just a minute but we're going to bring you into this wide open living room i love the built-ins on either side of the fireplace the built-ins on either side of the fireplace again the hardwood floors throughout and the ceilings yeah the copper ceilings the copper are ceilings. amazing and you know what's really cool this screened in porch yes. is like none we've shown you on this channel so far chris push these doors up <laughs> Let's see if I can get it. You got the muscle to put behind it. Cause... Here we go. Yeah, and they just keep going. Yeah, don't stop now. Come on, Chris. I don't want to grunt. <laughs> I think I pulled a muscle. Yeah, and it go, I think it does go all the way it'll back. Go, it'll go all the way back. And this place, this is massive. And I love the fireplace out here. It really gives it a lot. I mean, I would sit out here a lot. The true indoor, outdoor living. Yes. And great big ceiling fan gas fireplace like you said yes truly you can enjoy this north carolina weather and we, today it's the end of may and it is absolutely gorgeous not hot not humid 
I could get used to this. Oh, I, I could take a nap out here and sleep. <laughs> then when you come on back in, the first thing you notice is the statement kitchen. Look at the size of this, this counter. Yes, and what this makes a statement to me is that refrigerator behind you. Yeah, the Electrolux commercial fridge. I love the double door fridge. Yes. Plenty of room. Absolutely. Love it. Yeah, quartz countertops again. And we were talking about, you know, the hardware and all that stuff. It, it really makes a difference in the home. Um, yeah, this is solid hardware. Solid hardware. I mean, from your doorknobs to your, your drawer pulls, everything here, right. it's just upgraded. And this, they did a great job with this one. It really stands out. That gas range, man, wow. The gas range, the Bertazzoni uh, range, really, really nice. And again, where you're actually standing now is like another, you can use it as a dining or a sunroom or anything. I like it as a sunroom, honestly, because it has the windows all around it. Yeah, but in this particular floor plan, you have no dining room. You have no dining room, <laughs> yeah. so you have to use it. But, yeah. but again, it kind of goes back. Hey Amen. There's plenty of who space. Uses their dining there's rooms. plenty of space in this house. <laughs> now, the best feature for all the Pioneer Woman fans out there, this rivals her pantry. This is crazy. This is crazy. And this, I know this is one of your favorites. This is, you know, you have a butler pantry inside the walk in pantry. Yep. Uh, wine fridge built wine in. Fridge. And I know the coffee bar would be right here. And, and again, no wire shelving, all custom built in shelves. Absolutely. We're not done with the downstairs yet. Not done with the downstairs. As soon as you come out of the kitchen, uh, this is gonna take you out to your three car garage. Yeah, so it's separated. You have a separated. two car together yep. and then a separate one car. A lot of folks take that, the separate section, and make it into a fitness area. Absolutely. Yeah, you can use it for, for any variety of things. The build-ins around the drop zone, you know we talk about that all the time. The drop zone is a must have in a home and the custom build-ins around it. It keeps the rest months. of the house clean. Uh, to my left is going to be the laundry room. It's, it has, you know, the quartz countertops and a lot of shelf, uh, cabinet space in there. And you can come on in. You and I were kind of talking about how this space could be used. It could be used as a bedroom, maybe even an office. It has a closet, but... Yeah, because there's no full bath, the only full bath downstairs would be, well, there's two, would be in the primary or in the first the area that we walked in yeah. that we called uh, a, a in-law suite. Right. And I think this would be a great playroom, a downstairs playroom for the kids during yeah. the day. Or you could put your office back here and it certainly would be quiet. Absolutely. You can use that for any space, another closet there. And this house doesn't have any shortage of closet space. No, and all the closets, none, you know, of course, none of the wire shelves or anything. Right. Everything has built in wooden, shelves, storage bins, dividers. There's even a bench in one of the closets. So absolutely, yeah, everything you need. Absolutely. So then we're next gonna take them upstairs and you're gonna really like this too. Okay, before we continue the tour, we wanna tell you a little bit about the neighborhood. Overlook at Mount Vernon is located in North Raleigh. Now North Raleigh is probably the most sought after area in the Triangle. It's also one of the more expensive, but you'll see why. The location is amazing. You're located just 15 to 20 minutes from the Raleigh Durham International Airport. So if you travel for work or pleasure, it's right there at your fingertips. If you work in the Research Triangle Park, which is the largest research park in America, it's also just 15 to 20 minutes away. Now, if you're looking for shopping and dining, you're just 10 to 12 minutes from places like Lafayette Village. It's a unique area of shops it looks like you're walking through the streets of Paris, but there's tons of unique restaurants, bars, stores, anything you could ask for. And for those of you into water sports or fishing, Falls Lake is just five minutes away. That's right, there's a boat launch just five minutes away, so if you have a boat, what better place to live? All right, back to the tour. All right, so now we're bringing you upstairs, and again, Chris, I wouldn't expect anything less in this house but my favorite wood stairs. Yep. And again, the oak hardwood. Yeah, actual hardwood. And you're gonna find hardwood throughout the house. The bedrooms do have carpet. Yes. We've said before, that's what we prefer because it's nice and warm on your feet when you get up in the morning. That's right. So when you come in immediately to your right, it's gonna bring you into a bedroom. And this bedroom has its own full bath as well. Yeah, it's like this house is full of sweets. <laughs> well, I tell you what, everybody will certainly be comfortable and have a back bathroom accessible close to them. And of course, each you know, they have the walk-in closet as well, even in these bedrooms. So yes. again, no, no loss of storage area. Now, in here, for all the work at home people, here's your nice little office with the French doors. 
And you know, this could be for somebody that works at home or if they utilize that space downstairs, like we said, for their office, this would be a great, put a, a desk maybe on this side and on that side for a kid's homework area. For a kid's and homework you can, area. You can be yep. quiet, shut the doors. And so many people homeschool now yep. that, you know, this could be a great alternative or just when you have homework coming from school. Now, Absolutely. this home is located in the Wake County School System. A lot of folks ask us that. It is very highly rated. And we suggest you look at niche.com to get specifics about the school system. But it is an A-rated school system. Absolutely. Coming on out. And again, the wide. So no uh, no issues trying to bring up furniture when you when they move. Yeah, you don't have to pivot with so much here. <laughs> now, coming on into this big bonus room. And when I say big, Chris, show them how big this thing I'm is. Gonna, I'm not to the wall yet. Oh. I'm not either. I'm still backpedaling. All right. Now, great size. <laughs> you can't beat this. Talk about put a projector screen right here. Absolutely. And I like that it's got the, the double doors when you walk in. So you can have a game area right in front of those doors. And like you said, this wall right here, perfect for that huge projection screen. This would absolutely be my man cave. Uh, I think your girls would have something to say about it. And yes. your little boy. <laughs> absolutely. I, I, don't, I don't have anything anymore that's mine. Coming on into the next, uh, one of the secondary bedrooms, again, these are all large, so they're not small bedrooms, big walk-in closet, uh, carpet in here again. And this one actually has the Jack and Jill bath shared with the uh, another bedroom. And again, you have the, the quartz countertops, big large mirror, and it's it's blocked off between the shower and this area, so yeah. you can use So it. right over here, you'll see a separate toilet shower area and we pointed out in other homes that's great because the kids you know can get ready at the same time and, and each have their privacy absolutely now again with the jack and jill bath that leads you into this other bedroom and again these are large bedrooms walk-in closets wow and directly behind you chris is probably one of the biggest um yeah i'm gonna spin around linen closets i've ever seen wow yeah it is definitely large now, as you come back down, uh, it's going to lead you out the end of this hallway. So out here to the right, it's actually going to be, it's floored, but you can finish it in and for storage. That's a great a place space. for Christmas decorations, yes. Christmas trees, all that kind of stuff. Open that up. Let's let them take yeah. a look. It's a great, it is a floored and drywalled great space, which could be finished into more living space should you need it. Easily, because they already got the sheetrock up. It's ready to go. Uh, so another great little uh, bonus area. Now. What we promised, we're going to take you to what we've been saving for last. Yes. Let's go. Now we're down here in this really cool spot, the basement. Now you don't really see that a lot in this, you know, in the Raleigh Triangle area, but in these larger homes and out in this great to have. No, I'm going to tell you, I've got some ideas of what you could do with this basement, but before we get started, there's so much unfinished space and potential in this home. That's that's the thing that is it's awesome about this home as well. Check out this. So if you come on in here, this could easily be finished in into a whole nother large space here. Yeah, and it goes both directions. It goes both directions. So great for storage or to finish out if you need additional space. Absolutely. Now you come back out into where you're at. And again, another large recreational living room, den, however you want to do it. Yeah, and what I envision, this would be a great media room, game room, because this is a walkout basement. Yes. And in that beautiful backyard, perfect place for a swimming pool. And Chris, let's go out on this porch. Cause yeah. Come on. You got the double French doors here leading out. And check out this. Yeah, so. We are, you know, you're underneath here in a covered area. What in the, I mean, just what a great place yes. for an outdoor kitchen and dining area. And like I said, this beautiful backyard, a swimming pool, and then you've got a recreation area inside, cooking and grilling outside, Absolutely. and that beautiful screen porch looking out over it. I can see it in my mind and we can make it yours. Just give us a call. I would 100% make this that kitchen. Like you said, put me a TV out there and some outdoor speakers. I'd stay out there. I'd start making my own little cooking videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you come on in, it also has a full bath down here. Yes. Now they're not quite finished because right. the room you're in, they are finishing this into a bedroom. They're finishing this into a bedroom. So this, this area down here is still under construction. Closet 
And, and I would think this is the room that the kids, as they're teenagers especially, would fight over. Oh, absolutely. Privacy down here, this is absolutely awesome. Absolutely. All right, Chris, let's head upstairs and let's give them all the numbers. Okay, Chris, this house is absolutely amazing. Now go over the stats with us on this house one more time. So it's four bed, five and a half bath, just over 5,300 square feet. Now, there is an HOA, it maintains the common areas of the, of the subdivision, and what does it cost for that? It's $1,500 a year. And that's per year? That's per year. All right, so if you like this luxury home or want to look anywhere in the Raleigh area, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and choose Crossroads Residential. Because we'll make it happen.